going on, everybody? Jeff Lights Jr. at the Black Boss Channel. Master P has said that he wants to be the next head coach of the New Orleans Pelicans. I'll tell you what I think about that because it's not a crazy idea after the bumper. What's happening, everybody? Jeff Lights G with the Black Balls Chat with Victory Formation. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Master P, the great Master P, Percy Miller, has come out and said that he wants to be the next head coach of the New Orleans Pelicans. As we all know, the New Orleans Pelicans have fired their coach, or their once head coach, Stan Van Gundy, and they have an opening. And one of those people who say they want the job is Master P. Now, the chances of Master P getting the job, the head coaching job at the Pelicans, is not very high. It's like slim to none because they take head coaches without head coaching experience, but normally they're former NBA players. Now, P did play in the preseason of an NBA game, but he never officially signed an NBA contract and suited up. In, well, he never suited up in an NBA regular season game. He played in the preseason for the Toronto Raptors and the Charlotte Hornets and all kinds of stuff. But he never made it to the court for an actual regular season NBA game. But he does have NBA experience. So he kind of knows the inner workings. We all know he's a global hip hop star. So millions of records, right? Platinum on platinum on top of platinum. And then an outstanding, extraordinary, extraordinary businessman as far as rap snacks, Uncle P's, everything. Everything Uncle P. And now... He's his latest uh, venture has got his son going to an HBCU and he's a number one advocate of HBCU sports and HBCU athletics, along with like Deion Sanders and so on and so forth. So he now he is throwing his hat into the ring of NBA coaching. He said he thinks he should be the NBA head coach of the New Orleans Pelicans because the NBA is changing because the NBA is going in a different direction. And he is someone that can relate to the players. He is someone that able to bring fresh new blood to the New Orleans team. He is someone that wants to be a part of the Pelicans, and not everybody wants to be a part of New Orleans organization. He sees the animosity between Zion Williamson and his family and the organization. He feels like he is someone that can bridge that gap. And even if he's not the head coach, he went as far as to say that, hey, maybe they don't want to hire me as the head coach. I will even take an assistant job. I would like to just be a part of that organization to help them and all of their young players, but he specifically named Zion Williamson. And I am someone who is a fan of this. <laughs> I am someone that would love to see this happen. I would love to see Master P go in and be a part of the New Orleans Pelicans organization. Why? Because it would be box office. The Pelicans already have Zion Williamson. But if you add Master P on the sideline, it is a team that we would not be able to stop talking about. Two, the Pelicans do need new blood. The Pelicans need a newer way of thinking. Stan Van Gundy was never it. They hired a, they made a bad hire. Stan Van Gundy should have never been in there and should have never been the head coach of the team. Why? Because he's old. He's rigid. He is someone that was coaching in the early 90s and early 2000s, and, and it didn't even work. Hell, he quit on the Miami Heat team that eventually went on to win the championship. I've never been a fan of Stan Van Gundy ever since then. He left the Miami Heat team. They ended up picking up uh, Dwayne Wade. And, and Shaq, and they ended up winning the championship. Then he was the head coach of Orlando Magic, and he couldn't get along with a young superstar in Dwight Howard. And now you think 10, 12, 15 years later, he's going to be able to relate to kids like Zion Williamson and Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram? No, that was just a bad hire from the jump. Bring in someone like Master P. Okay, he don't have to be the head coach, but bring in some young, fresh blood. Because the thing is, if you don't, you run the risk of losing Zion. You run the risk of losing Zion to somewhere else because Zion and his family have already expressed their frustration with New Orleans. They've already expressed their frustration with the organization. And Gail Benson and her team and her family, who own both the Pelicans and the Saints, seem to be focused on a whole lot of attention on the Saints and not enough on the Pelicans. Remember that the Pelicans were also the organization that were splitting staffs, help up uh, the, the staffs as training staffs. Remember they had the Saints training staff actually working on the Pelicans and then it racked up all these injuries because, hmm, I don't know, they were focusing more on the football players and not the basketball team. So they then had to go out and hire like they should have from the jump an entirely new basketball training staff. 
Yeah, man. I, the, the, Pat, P is a great move because they've been making a, bad, a bunch of dumb moves, a bunch of bad moves over there in New Orleans. And bringing in P, a, a, a local hero, a fan favorite, and someone that's going to be able to relate to the players in the city on a bunch of different levels would be amazing for that team. It's good PR, and it's actually, it's actually would work because P would also have those players business savvy. He would help those players in the long run, even after they leave New Orleans. It's a win-win for both sides. And I could see P actually getting a lot of this out of this experience. I don't know if he's willing to put all of his businesses on the back burner to become an NBA assistant coach on the road for 82 games out of a season, taking 82 games, six, seven, eight months out of the year to be an NBA assistant coach and do all the dirty work because P is a superstar, right? Like what he does, he's a superstar. And you're an assistant coach, you kind of got to do the dirty work. So I don't know if that'll match up, but if he says he wants to do it, and Master P is someone that I'll never bet against because when he puts his mind to something, he always makes it happen. Leave your thoughts and comments in the chat. Once again, I'm Jeff Lighty Jr. at the Black Boss channel. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe. Would it be a good idea for the New Orleans Pelicans to hire Master P as either a head coach or an assistant on their team? Please leave your comments in this chat. Please leave your comments on. Leave a comment and let me know. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Follow us on Instagram at VF Sports Show. We post content on there all the time. Once again, I'm Jeff Lighty Jr. with Victory Formation. I'll see you next time. Peace.